Yo, what is happening guys? It's Scorpions here. And the PTB has been out now for a good few days. We're coming to an end of the PTB, to be honest. And I think now is a good time to finally give my thoughts on the PTB. Mainly the pig changes, to be honest. I could do a separate vid on the rest of the changes, but it, honestly, the changes are fine. To sum them up, they're great. Only shame is that you can't see the dust kicked up by Spirit's feet. I think that needs to go through because Spirit still feels pretty insane. Uh, Deathsling is fine. Nurse with three blinks is a bit strong. Um, I might do a vid on that actually separately. I'll do a vid on that one. But everything else, pretty good. Anyway, so kind of to get onto the meat of the video. I want to talk about Pig. This change has been three years, three years in the making, honestly. And now we finally have uh, add-on pass. It's a flaky add-on pass. It's not as in-depth as I want it to be, but it is an add-on pass and Due to some new add-ons some old add-ons without needing to change suddenly become useful if that makes sense So we're at that sort of stage right now uh, But we'll, we'll get into detail. I kind of want to structure this as Talking about each add-on in detail to be honest uh, like one after another so that's probably what I'm gonna do. So we'll start off with the Browns and then we'll work our way through. Uh, this is, before we start, base kit pig. Little disappointed that didn't change, although this was an add-on pass, not a pig base kit pass, which Spirit, you know, Spirit got the full lot. So uh, it's to be expected. Uh, I would have liked box auras to be invisible to the pig and I would have liked some minor dash changes like I don't know some want a faster dash some want a longer dash I wouldn't have mind testing a slightly longer dash like you know but, but uh, it doesn't matter that none of that matters because we need to talk about what's here so starting off with the shattered syringe uh, that's exactly the same as it was so I'm glad that's not changed but now we can actually see the true value of it it's 25% it's always been 25% and now you can see it cool like the you know I'm glad we can see numbers now. Uh, medical file. Now, medical file is an interesting one because this was, I believe, a charge add-on and now is, well, is a crouch movement speed add-on finally. 6% movement speed, which is actually pretty significant. I will, I used it quite a lot, actually, during the PTB, and especially on, on, on maze tiles, like jungle gyms, TL walls. I was able to sneak around the tile, actually, crouched. So I'd crouch straight away and then sneak around the tile while while crouched. And um, because of the extra movement speed, I was able to actually get the jump on quite a few survivors because I'm just so much quicker. You're nearly the identical speed as a survivor running. Uh, survivor moves at... Well, pig's base crouch is 3.6 meters a second. A survivor runs at 4 meters a second. With the medical file, I believe you're 3.84 or 3.86, around there, you're around 3.8, 3.84, so you're a lot faster actually, even though it's only 6%. So you're actually, you actually zoom while crouched. You can't stack it, there's not two of these. I've been running it with combat strap to crouch quickly and then zoom around. But uh, yeah, I really liked the new gameplay that has been opened up by this, to be honest. Uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. I don't really feel like this one needs changes too much. I think this is A-OK -okay as it is as well. Uh, then we move on to interlocking Razor. Now, this is... it's garbage, honestly. It's it's trash. It's, it's a neat idea of an add-on, because it combos with another add-on we'll get to later. Failing a jigsaw box, skill check. While injured, will inflict deep wound. I mean, deep wound is... I, I hate deep wound. I, I, I hate it so much. I really don't like Deep Wound. Deep Wound is, well, I want to say ruined because of Doctor. Uh, you, you have to snap out of it after you mend. Like, you cannot mend in Tier 3 uh, of Madness. So they can't make the bleed out of Deep Wound, like, really aggressive because Doctor. So it means killers like Pig have add-ons like this that you're useless because it takes 20 seconds to die from deep wound and at base it's 12 seconds to search a saw box and with only one add-on which you know you have to run this one so even with one crate of gears add-on it's still 15 seconds so you've still got plenty of time to do a box before you bleed out so i don't really see the point of this i still i still stand by that deep wound should be really quick I still stand by it. Deep wound, bleed out should be like 5 seconds, 10 seconds, and you should be able to man, uh, mend in tier 3 of, of, of madness on Doctor. I, that's my opinion, that will always be my opinion. 
Deep Wound is a garbage mechanic, and it always will be until that changes. Doctor is single-handedly holding back this mechanic for every other killer in the game, including Legion. Uh, I hate it, but neat idea from add-on. Kind of sucks that Deep Wound's the way it is. Doubly sucks. There's no way of making skill checks harder. Like, it would have been... I get that this is a new player add-on, but this could have actually been cool. We could have seen the return of skill check pig, because back in the day, uh, Lullaby and all that, and unnerving, all of that and distressing, all that worked on sore boxes. You could run that in a non meme way on the game map and actually get head pops. But all that's gone now and it's not coming back anytime soon because there's no way of making the skill checks harder, even with this add on and the other add on. Combat strap. This is unchanged, but you can now see it's 30%, which it always has been. Well, it has been since the update three years ago, two years ago. Uh, so yeah, unchanged. Cool. Good. That's fine. Uh, workshop Grease, this is literally just videotape, but copied and pasted onto a new add-on. Nothing, a lot to say here, really. It's just videotape. It's, it is literally just videotape. Like, I don't know why they did this. I suppose, lore-wise, this makes more sense as being the new add-on, I suppose. The videotape, the new videotape, anyway, has made a lot of these status effect add-ons a lot more useful. So, you, you know, because it's applied to everyone at the start of the trial. And before you ask, no, Pig will not have any helmets with this add-on unless you bring another add-on for it. She will start with zero. Do not ask that question again. I get it every two seconds. Pig will not have any helmets. Right, so yeah, this... I mean, even this is still kind of useless. Causes hemorrhage. You know what I think of hemorrhage. I think it's useless. I think it could make the blood brighter, potentially, like a bloodhound effect, and then you remove it from sloppy, so that could be cool. But yeah, hemorrhage in its current state is useless, and pretty much always will be. Razor wire. This is the other one of those combo add-ons I was talking about a second ago, where it'd be nice if it made skill checks harder, because this one injures you, and then this one puts deep wound on. Would be nice, but no one misses skill checks anymore, unless you're brand new to the game. So these are new player add-ons, which is cool, but I'd have liked this to be more than a new player add-on, but whatever. Last Will! Now, this is an interesting one no one saw coming, especially not me. Like, Last Will being gone, the trap add-on being gone. Good lord. Increases ambush attack movement speed by 6%, which is quite a lot. Might not sound it, but it is. Increases the charge time by a lot. And I mean a lot, a lot, as in you have to run Last Will with Workshop Grease in order to make it even remotely useful. I've spent the most amount of time on this PTB testing out this add-on. I, I adore it. I don't think it's strong enough yet before you jump down my throat. I don't, but I adore the concept. I think it's great. Wow, I've been getting a lot more ambush hits even on hit, just people that I would never be able to hit with ambush, I can now hit. Pallet loops that you can't dash on, you can now. It's great. I love it. It's not strong enough yet. I do believe that the ambush attack move speed needs to be 10% to, because of the ferocious downside. Because you have to use this with the uh, workshop grease. And they've done that intentionally. They don't want you using last will with other add-ons, which... I'm not sure how I feel about behavior preemptively picking our add-on combos for us, but it's the reality we're in. I I suppose it's fine, but the upside needs to be better for that ferocious downside, because even with the workshop grease, it's still 16% slower to charge. So, yeah, I'd make that 10%. That way you really zoom, and the downside's worth it. And uh, you start to use workshop grease. I don't feel like that needs to change, I suppose. I, pff, no, I don't feel like that needs to change, but... It would make the upside a bit more worth it. Because the thing with the downside on this, once it gets... Oh, obviously, 66 is silly, but when you're using the uh, the workshop grease with it, you don't really notice the extra charge speed because it's like engravings. It, the, the charge happens at a time that doesn't really matter because you're at a pallet loop. You're not moving anyway. They're not moving. You don't really notice the extra time. I mean, you notice it, but it doesn't really impact the gameplay that much. At least it wasn't for me. So the, the charge speed doesn't bother me. The thing that bothered me was the movement speed for it. I didn't feel like I was getting much use out of it. Well, not much use, that's the wrong term. I didn't feel like I was getting enough use out of it for the for the downsides. Uh, it, like, for what I mean is, it's still going to be more efficient to run a combat strap at a shattered syringe over this. Whereas it, un, whereas these are two uncommon add-ons as opposed to two common add-ons. So I reckon at 10%, that'll be worth using over those two. That'd be spicy. That'd be very spicy.
Next, we've got face mask, which is unchanged. But now that you all spawn with helmets on, you're all blind from the start of the game, which is interesting, although it doesn't block box auras, but it is interesting. And it's, well, it's a slugging build. I'm not sure if this one's gains the most effect out of this change. The one that does is the slow release toxin. You're exhausted from the moment the game starts. People are going to hate that when they realize what that means. Spawn in, you've got no perks. No exhaustion perks, no dead hard, no nothing, until you get your helmet off. Same thing with mangled. You're mangled when the game starts, period. All these add-ons are now applied by default straight away. And it's it's scary with the right build, I reckon. I reckon the slow release toxin will be scary with the right build. The scariest one is rule set number two, though, which now has a use. It was the worst pig add-on in the game. One of the worst add-ons in the game completely. But now it's green, and now with the videotape, I mean, you saw my Ot's video, it's scary. It's really scary. It's really strong. I'm glad it's got a use now. Hope to see more of it. Not Ot to say there again. It's great. Moving on to Bagger Gears. This was, well, it was buffed slightly. The trap setting speed is a lot quicker now, so you can stack it with the Creative Gears for 100%. And they nerfed Creative Gears as well, which means that... Searching a box is, it's very slow, it's 50% slower, but if you stack them both, it's not enough to be a threat. Otz and I tested this extensively, and you could com uh, comfortably make all four boxes uh, on most maps, if not all of them actually. I think we tested RPD with this and it was fine. So, yeah, I mean, I'm okay with a bit of slowdown on, a, on a searching, as long as it doesn't impact your chances of dying. It's okay. So as much as I'm going to relent, these add-ons are in a much better state. What isn't in a better state is Tampered Timer. Because even though that's been nerfed, this is still obnoxiously strong. And it is still by far the strongest add-on that Pig has. Which is a shame, really. I was really hoping that they were going to remove this, to be honest. Like they did to a lot of other add-ons that she's got. They just straight up removed them. But they haven't. They have kept this in the game. Which... I guess. And they, they, they thought they'd just make it 20 seconds and that'd be good because it used to be 30. It's not good enough. Ots and I tested this again with Creative Gears and pretty much every map, Ots didn't make the fourth box. Even on smaller maps, he barely made the fourth box. And this is no interruptions from the killer at all. This is him just holding W going to each box. And he didn't, he barely made it. So disappointing. Would have much preferred Tampa Tower to get reworked. I like the idea of um, disables the ability for traps to activate from generators and traps instead activate from any interaction that you do. So if you start self-caring, it turns on. If you heal, it turns on. If you, do it, if you touch a gen, your helmet turns on. And that would mean the helmet worked in endgame as well because you could put a trap on at the end of the game and they touch the exit gate and the helmet turns on. I reckon that's a ni nice idea for Tampered Timer, because the timer's tampered, it starts in different ways. But, sadly, it's not to be. And we're left with this. <sighs> Next, we've got Jigsaw's Annotated Plan, which is an interesting concept of an add-on. The increased helmet add-ons have been moved to Annotated Plan, and the sketch, which now means you can have six helmets at one time, which I tried and I was, oh my goodness me, I actually had too many helmets for the survivors I was playing against. I actually had too many. So nice that you can have six helmets now. It's a lot of slowdown. A lot of people are going to like that. And you get some extra abilities, which, well, this one is kind of, it's a more of a gimmick. Uh, increase the timer by 10 seconds, so it's 2 minutes 40 seconds. And then every time a gen turns on, no matter where you are, on a hook, in a chase, the helmet goes down by 10 seconds. It works. We tested it. It's on a hook. It's in chase. It works. Doesn't matter that it's inactive at the time. Uh, it's cool. I like it. It's a bit gimmicky, but it's a nice concept. It's a bit more interesting than we've had before. To be honest, I like interesting add-ons, so it's a bit more interesting. Uh, and then we've got Jigsaw Sketch, which is the uh, the sister add-on, which is the more, the more powerful one. Uh, whenever a survivor with an RBT is working on a gen. The gen is highlighted to you, the killer, which is neat, actually, with the videotape. It's not as strong as rule set with videotape, but it's neat. Um, I was able to use it 
quite a few times actually in my test with Ots to, to, to sneak up on people and get a few downs. So I like it. I like it a lot actually. Much more interesting than plus one box. So great. Amanda's secret. This is just... Why is this even in the game still? I suppose it's a bit better now that you've got videotape. I suppose. But this is another add-on that honestly should have got reworked that didn't. But here we are. And then we've got Amanda's Letter, which is fantastic now. It's still a training add-on, but the downside is less punishing and the upside is better. 16 meters instead of 12. Four boxes instead of two and one helmet. Much better. Had a lot of fun with that on RPD. A lot of fun with that on corn maps through jungle gyms. Love it. So overall, really, the change is good. I wouldn't say it's great. It's definitely not perfect. Uh, I know a lot of people are angry about this, but I don't care. For me, it would be perfect if they'd have changed Tampered Timer ideally into what I just said. Uh, changed Amanda's Secret, which they just won't. If they'd have potentially tweaked a few status effect add-ons to be on Dash instead. That's a big surprise to me, like the hemorrhage add-on still being in the game is kind of crazy to me. And last will being 10% instead of 6. And then other than that, I think we're pretty much good, really. Yeah, honestly, really, really happy with the change. Oh yeah, and the skill checks on the deep wound. Definitely needed an add-on that made skill checks harder. Potentially the yellow one that injures could make skill checks harder. Disappointing with that as well. But honestly, overall, I'm happy. I'm happy. It's not perfect. There's definitely more that could be done. But I'm happy. Let me know what you think of the new pig. Let me know if you've been trying it out. I am obsessed with it. I've been playing it offline. I actually have been playing DVD off, off stream. I know. I've been playing the PTB solidly. And I'm very, very excited for this. Cannot wait. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Later.